greetings friends go into the pause menu then go over to options and then make your way down to where it says controller settings because there is one particular setting that can help improve your shooting in NBA 2k24 and that is the one and only shot timing visual cue so this basically replaces the shot timing release time setting from NBA 2k23 and so what this does is it determines the best time to go and release the jump shot button to go and get that green release on your jump shots and so there are four options here push release jump and set point and so I'm going to go ahead and show you what those visual cues are for each of these and when is the best time to go and let go of the jump shot button for each all four of these so we're gonna go ahead and go into the replay mode and then I'm gonna go and show you what that looks like all right y'all so let's go ahead and look at the push option here so this right here is the best time to go and let go of the jump shot button for the push setting which is the default setting so as you can see here the player is about to go and push the ball out of his hand so hence the reason why it's called push and that is where the green release window is for this particular setting now it depends on and the same goes for all of these depends on what mode you play too like if you're playing in park parks will probably be a little trickier as to where if you're playing in just NBA games if you have a certain difficulty level, then the green window is going to be much, much bigger if you have it on like rookie or pro or something like that. So it all kind of depends on what game mode you play as well. So just keep that in mind also. So that is the push setting. And so we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one. So let's go ahead and take a look at the release option now. This is very, very similar to the push option, except you're shooting just a tad bit later than the push option. So you can see the ball is basically out of the player's hand is still fingers still kind of touching the ball but that is the green release window there so just about out of the player's hand as to where the push option uh, the, the ball is still basically in the player's hand and so that is the green release window for the release option and so yeah that is that so like I said very very similar to push and uh, yeah so like I said slightly later so if you want something that's like just slightly, slightly later, then this is the option for you. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one, shall we? All right. So the jump option is basically determined by your feet placement as you look at my new balance kicks. <laughs> and so the green release window is right around here pretty much. So not jumping too high off the ground, but just slightly. You can see my player's feet are just very, very slightly off the ground. And so that is the green re release window. Hey, how's it going? Uh, that's the green release window for the jump option there. So like just very slightly, just about to go and just take off and go and just fire that ball out of the hands and into the bucket. And so that is the green release window for the jump option. And so now we're gonna go ahead and look at our last option and that will be set point so let's go ahead and take a look at that this last one is called set point and this is basically right at the top of the jump shot so since the ball is still in the player's hand it's kind of harder to uh, determine exactly where the green release window is so I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly where that point is so we'll go ahead and kind of get back down here come back down to earth a little bit <laughs> and then just pull up again and so right around here and you could see his left hand zoom in a little bit so you see his left hand sort of sort of kind of trying to let go and that is basically the green release window for set point right around there so not here where where his left hand is uh, still you know completely on the ball but like just right around where he's about to let go of it so that is the green release window for set point because i know it could be a little confusing on that one um again because the ball is still in the player's hands essentially so um so it's a little bit more uh confusing compared to the other ones that which are a little bit more straightforward so and so that is the set point green release and that is all of them ladies and gentlemen that's all four of the visual cues for nba 2k24 all right y'all that's going to do it for me thank you very much for watching i really really appreciate it if you found this video helpful at all then definitely make sure to go and leave a like and subscribe i very very much appreciate that and if you want to go and know about a new badge in nba 2k24 that can help improve your shooting then check out this video that should be popping up on your screen right now and i will talk to you next time peace adios sayonara ghost panda out of here